Hi, welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Girls. So today, we are gonna see where this leak of coolant is coming from. Okay, first off, we start to check from the very top of the car to the bottom. But as I can see here, it's coming from the center of the car, not the side, not this side as well. Alright, so it was coming from the center and what I see on the top here is that the coolant was leaking from here. But, I do not know whether the coolant is leaking from this pipe or here because, as you can see from here, it seems to be seeping out from here as well. But it doesn't look like it's coming from this pipe or this pipe or this pipe. It seems to be coming from here or here. Which is, if, you, if I look at it, clearly it doesn't seem to be here as well. It seems to be coming from here. So, what I can say is, let's try to change this radiator cap first, alright? Because this radiator cap has been around for 11 years. If that's of it, that's good. If it's not, we might need to change this. Okay, so let's get to it. Now, the first thing you want to do is actually clean off everything over here before you open anything because you don't want the dirt to, to enter any place. So, to do that, just use plain water. Okay, so now that we have washed it off with water, uh, it, has, it has actually been about a week already. Actually, I have not used this car for about a week class. Alright, so now that you have washed it, it's dry. It's time to start the car and see where the leak is coming from, alright? Okay, it seems like we have found the leak. It seems to be coming from the bottom here. Over here. Not sure how well the camera will capture it, but it seems like the leak is starting from this joint itself. Okay, so we'll be replacing this this joint, this T joint here. Um, what we we'll need to do is we we'll need to. Um, Remove this, remove the clamp here and the clamp here and the clamp here using a plier. Then um, I think there's a size 12, size 12 socket at the back here. Right, there's a size 12 over here. Alright, then it will actually just come out.
Okay, so we have gotten the O and the new. So the next thing we want to compare is whether is it the same design or not. So as you can see, this and this is at the correct place. Alright, and you can see the O one has already chipped off quite a bit. Whereas the new one is nice and smooth. Alright, so what we saw earlier was that the leak was happening over here. Alright, you can see that the water stain the water stain actually shows the same as well. Alright, the leak was happening over here. Okay, so the the new one hopefully there's no defect. Alright, hopefully. Okay, so this has been the original um the original one since um uh, since it was since the car was purchased about eleven years back. Alright, so the code is PA66GF. It's 25, it's 30, but I don't see any difference actually. Alright, so we'll be installing this one back. Installing is exactly the same as um, how we remove it. Just pl uh, plug it in, bolt it, then connect everything and just put back the hose clamps. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, that's the end of the video. Uh, simple DIY, very short DIY. Um, and that's how we change the Proton Inspira aka uh, Lancer 08 radiator top, uh, what do you call this? Radiator uh, housing, the top bracket. Yeah, the top bracket. So what it does is it connects both, both the radiator holes so that you have a fuel hole here and then this goes over to the uh, reservoir and this goes over to your gearbox i think i didn't actually see it i think it goes down to the gearbox cooler all right so when you purchase this make sure you purchase the correct one there's two different models one for the manual and one for the auto so since my car my car is an automatic so this is the one that you're looking for the one that is uh, manual i believe does not have this bracket uh, does not have this uh, outlet here and i believe the mount is slightly lower all right so make sure you purchase the correct one else you'll be wasting a lot of time shipping the item back and then uh purchasing the new one again all right okay so let's talk a bit about cost so this bracket cost me if not mistaken is 29 ringgit if i'm not mistaken let me check Okay, sorry, it's not 29 ringgit. The 29 ringgit was a dodgy one where it doesn't look nice at all, even from the photo itself. Alright, this is 60 ringgit. Alright, that is about roughly 15 US dollars, and there's a fly flying around. Pesky fly. Okay, so yeah, this costs about 60 ringgit. Um, it's not original. Oh, sorry, I mean the one that I installed, this is the old one. Alright, the it was it's not an original, but it should do the job perfectly well i know there are also types that is made out of aluminium or stainless steel or copper but i didn't opt for that reason being is that it costs almost twice to three times as much and let's be honest this lasted me 11 years so if that lasts me half the, the lifetime which is six years the car will be about six 
17, 18 years old, it's time to change. Alright? Okay, so looks like this is made out of fiber, plastic, or plastic. I have no idea. Okay, so as you can see, the point of failure was actually at the joint over here. Alright, that, that's why I showed you earlier as well. So unfortunately, alright, there's no there's no point in trying to save money and weld this back. Might as well just take, just fork out the 60 ringgit and just change it to a new one. It's more reliable. And bear in mind that when the car is hot, this is under pressure. Alright? Okay. Time taken to to do this is about five to ten minutes. Pretty quick. If you don't even have to do a recording, probably a few minutes. Alright, it's actually very fast, very easy. Alright, you only need a plier and a size 12 mm socket. That's all. And yeah, you need a bottle of coolant as well. Alright, like what you saw, I've re uh, top up with Toyota coolant, the red one, instead of the original Mitsubishi green one. Because if you follow my channel previously, when I had the radiator serviced at, uh, at the outside shop, they put in the Toyota coolant. And that wasn't too long ago, so I don't feel like changing. Uh, of should I say I don't feel like flushing the entire system and putting back the green coolant. All right, basically the green and the red works perfectly fine in this car. Okay. Uh, how much does the coolant cost? It cost me for that one bottle eighteen ringgit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I bought it quite a while back, about a couple of months back for uh, for the Myvi, but then I've not had the chance to use it. But since I'm doing this, I might as well do it. All right. So. Word of caution, do this when the car is cool. Alright, like you see, if I have started the engine for about 3 minutes, it's still okay. It's the, the water is just warm, there's no pressure. Alright, but also take precaution when you open the radiator cap, make sure you have a piece of cloth on top. In case it, there is pressure and it bursts out, it will be limited to the cloth and not on your face. You do not want to have the steam hitting your anywhere near you. Okay? Mm, I guess that's all. That's all there is to say. So if you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike it, you know you know what to do. And leave us a comment on how we can improve further, alright? And last but not least, please hit the subscribe button because every subscription counts. And hit the bell button because we have more exciting projects coming soon. Alright, till next time, see ya.